Okay, so now I'm going to show you a few extra things you can do to your first person character just to improve the overall quality. Um, we're going to start off with adding some footsteps. Now, upon trying to do this, I've realised that a lot of these sounds are, are good for certain areas of the map. You know, like if you're walking on mud, there's sounds that sound better for that. So I haven't really been able to find a, a decent footprint sound. Uh, sorry, footstep sound. But I mean, it's all about preference. You want to play around with it and find it out yourself, then that's that's what you got to do, really. So I've already got everything set out here. Uh, everything should look pretty familiar. You've got your controller inputs for up, down, left and right. Two state events, one on and one off. And then an interval trigger. A sound event that's set to toggle. And your sound that you're using. For this one I'm going to use the wooden creak. Um, always have it set to static. Volume preference. Pitch. You know, again, that's something you've got to work out yourself to figure out what you what you want yourself. So we're going to go and link all this up now. We'll start off with the sound event and you want to select it and obviously link it to your sound there. Then in the interval trigger you want to uncheck enabled so it will be like this. Uncheck it. Set your interval to about 4 4 9 that's what I use for this but each sound is going to be different you're going to need to adjust this and then select that onto your sound event, your two state events, select both of these and pop them onto that. With your controller inputs you want to highlight all of these, go into the properties, on press you want it to turn this state event on, on release you want it off. So now that's set up so let's test this out. a bit quiet you might not be able to hear that I've got the volume quite down but yeah I mean it's all about preference really there's a few different sounds you can use but yeah it's all down to you Okay, so next I'm going to show you how to add a sprint button to your character. So I've got everything set out here. You've got the button you want for the sprint. I mean, this is all down to you, really. You can use whatever button you want. You've got two state events, on and off. And right here, I'll show you what I've done here. I've got an area effector, uh, physics on, force at 2600. And I've got here a physics joint. And it's set to point to point, hard, and the targets are your area effector and the game camera. So that that highlight there is the game camera. And that will just glue your area effector to the character. Okay, so you want to put it in place. Oh, sorry, you want to have these state events attached to it. Put it down where the other one is. It's usually a good place and your button input on press off uh, sorry on and on release off so now when I click down on the left analog stick this is normal speed and this is sprint speed obviously you can play around with the the force and choose what's good for you okay so that's it for this one thanks for watching be sure to like and subscribe if you want more.